Hello, welcome to this lesson of Mastering Java, lesson number 14. Here we're going to cover the very important topic uh, where we're going to combine the concept of arrays that we've talked about several times with the concept of a string, which we've been talking about a lot recently. So if you remember, in the past we have uh, talked quite a bit about the concept of an array. And an array is really just a collection of similar types of data that are logically grouped together. So for instance, I might create uh, an array and I might be of type integer and I might just call it uh, array one, let's say. And inside of that, we learned that there's several different ways to declare an array, but I can go ahead and put the values that I want to be stored inside of that array just by putting them separated by commas here, right? Inside of curly braces. Now, of course, to specify this as being an array that's going to hold multiple values, we need to put our open and close brackets. And so now we have not just a single variable that's going to hold a single number, but we have, uh, in this case, we've got an array that's going to hold one, two, three, four, five values. Java knows to set aside five memory locations of type integer because I've actually specified and told Java to uh, go ahead and do that here. And, and, and I've, I've listed the numbers, and so it knows how much space is required. Now, what we can do is exactly the same concept with um, with strings as well. So I can do something like uh, create a string array, right? So I can create an array to hold strings. Now, just like for the integer, I had to tell it what type of data was going to be stored in this array. So here I'm typing string for the same purpose. And I'm going to put a uh, string, I'm going to name it sentence, right? I'm going to put my double bracket there to indicate that this is indeed an array. And inside of here, I'm going to put an open and curly brace. And I can actually specify the strings that are going